This video will demonstrate a hand-tied end-to-end bowel anastomosis. There are many different techniques for performing this common procedure, but this can be taken as its simplest example. Note the two cut ends of the colon, as well as the mesentery, which has been partially divided. To commence, a seromuscular stay suture is placed at the mesenteric border. Once this has been pulled through, the suture should be clipped and then cut. Now the needle is taken again and the suture is placed on the opposite end of the cut bow. This again will be used as a stay suture. Further interrupted sutures are then placed along the border of the cut edges of the bowel, being careful not to incorporate the mucosa into the bites. Ideally, these sutures should be placed 3 mm apart. Here you will notice that the first suture has been placed at approximately 5 or 6 mm, and we will return to this to illustrate the error. Once one side of the bow has been securely closed with five throws in each suture, the bow will need to be turned. To do this, pass one of the clips holding the stay suture under the bow. If these are then pulled, the unsuited end of the bow will show itself. Further sutures can now be applied in a similar manner to close this side. Once this is finished, pass the clip back under so the bow is now facing its original position. One can now tie both stay sutures and inspect the bow. Here a large gap has been identified, which we alluded to earlier. If this was left, it will be the site for an anastomotic leak potentially, and so it must be secured. Finally, in the real world situation, one must be careful not to leave a window within the mesentery so as to prevent any internal herniation.